Okay, welcome back, y'all. Hey, um, hope everybody's staying healthy and uh, happy out there. Today, uh, this is going to be a two-part installment. I told you guys I'm going to break down my videos, my um, how-to videos by advanced and beginner. So I'm going to talk about something that I probably should have talked about up front, and this is throttle management. So arguably, in my mind, it's arguably the most important aspect of flying quadcopters that you can train. It's throttle management. It is literally the foundation of everything you'll do in freestyle and even uh, racing FPV, which I'm not going to discuss any racing because I don't do a lot of racing. So uh, throttle management. Um, this is all for acro flight. If you fly in angle mode or horizon mode, you can still ap apply these principles. They still roll over or carry over into those types of flight, um, st stabilized flight. But specifically, this is for acro flight. As you transition from a beginner in uh, angular horizon into acro, this is what you'll want to do or what I recommend you do to help you become better at controlling throttle, your throttle management. Um, I talk about it literally in every video or every how-to video. Like I said, I probably should have done this up front. I didn't, so I'm doing it now. Um, this to me is like the ollie for skateboarding. The ollie is literally everything that is skateboarding. Every trick, the foundation is an ollie. So in quadcopter flight or in FPV flight, throttle management is every aspect of a trick or a maneuver or just flying from point A to point B. Everything you do is throttle management. So um, without further ado, I'm gonna confirm, yep, I'm in the video now. Boom, boom, here we go, throttle management. So I said I'm gonna do two installments. I'm gonna do a third installment, which is gonna, I'm basically gonna talk to you about my controller, why I chose the X-Lite or a smaller gaming controller over say a full size radio. Um, I'm not gonna talk about that today, but uh, as you guys can clearly see, I pinch fly and it's actually a hybrid pinch. It's not the standard pinch like this. And I definitely don't thumb. I thumbed for about six or seven years, but about two years ago, I watched a Umaguad video on pinching. And I was like, you know what? I'll give it a try. And I tried it. it, took me two days to get comfortable with it. And once I did, I never looked back. I stayed with pinch just because I felt like I had more control over my sticks. So throttle control, throttle management. Um, as I said, it is the foundation of everything. So what you'll want to do is first go to an area, an open field, a park, pretty much everywhere most people fly anyway. It's just an open area with maybe a few obstacles, but not a lot. It's mostly wide open. So if you are a beginner, which that's what this video is directed towards, is beginners, new pe new flight or uh, new pilots, go out into a field, open field, and just fly around. And really what you're trying to do here is maintain flat level flight. So don't try and do any tricks. I know right out of the gate, if you're like me, when I learned how to fly FPV, the first thing I wanted to do was get out there and just start going crazy. Avoid doing that for at least 10 to 20 packs. All I want you to do is go out and fly flat and level. And you can change it up. You can do um, figure eights. You can do whatever type of, you can do an oval, a circle, orbits, whatever. The goal here is to go out and stay flat and level. Try and keep your quadcopter as level as you can. Now I'm telling you to maintain altitude for this initial flight because I don't want you to hit anything or get your heart rate up too high where you're nervous and you'll make a mistake and ultimately crash. So take as many packs as it it, um, as required to fly around and become comfortable just staying flat and level in an open field. Once you've got the confidence and you've built up enough um, skill that you're like, okay, I think I can keep my quadcopter flat and level here. And you can use the terrain around you to kind of gauge whether you're flying flat and level. Uh, as you know, the higher you go, it's a little bit harder. So as you get better, drop the quadcopter down lower. And by low, I don't mean, you know, right off the deck. I mean low, like fence, the top of the fence. And the same thing, just take it real easy, keep your slow, gra your speed slow and gradual, no need to race around at 100 miles an hour, and figure out what it takes to keep your quad in normal flat flight. And as you can see, I'm taking my thumb off the throttle completely. So as you guys can tell, it really isn't that difficult to manage my throttle in flat and level flight. So this is what I'm trying to get you guys um, to realize. To keep solid level flight, it doesn't take a lot of throttle input. It's actually very little throttle input. Most of my input is roll and pitch to kind of keep the quadcopter pointed in the direction I want to go. That and some yaw, right? I'm rolling the aircraft and giving yaw to turn. And that'll be another installment, turns. I'm not gonna talk about that right now. So as you've gotten more comfortable there, get it even lower, come all the way down. So 
Phase three of this will be as low as you can get to the ground without crashing. Same thing, keep your speed constant and slow and just try and maintain flat level flight. You'll, you'll start to balloon up like this and then balloon back down. Avoid that. Try and maintain very small inputs. What you wanna do is give the smallest amount of inputs on your throttle. Now I run a flat curve on my throttle, so small movements make a big adjustment. Um, if you run the same, a flat curve, you'll get the same experience. So it doesn't take me a lot to adjust my altitude on flat and level. And this is really what you're after. Just go out, slow fly around, take small, big turns real slow, and keep your altitude consistent. What you're trying to do is maintain consistent altitude and what it feels like to adjust that throttle stick to maintain that control and the altitude. Now again, resist the urge to go high, resist the urge to do a flip or a roll. What you're trying to do, this is really boring, but it's, this is the foundations of flight. This is critical. All you wanna do is get to the point where you can go as low as physically possible and maintain the elevation of your quadcopter, even flight. Just glide along really low, really slow. Don't change anything. All you're doing is very small adjustments on your throttle. And if you're watching my thumb, you can see that I'm making almost minute movements in the throttle. That's what you're after. You don't need to do all these big movements to get your quadcopter to do what you wanna do. What you're gonna do is upset its flight and then throw yourself off. You wanna stay calm, stay relaxed, take a few breaths and get your quad down low. This is the goal, phase three as low as physically possible and just cruise the ground. And again, slowly, small adjustments, incremental adjustments on a throttle and maintain low level flight. Now I'm gonna come back over here to the concrete because I'm gonna show you another method. Once you're confident and comfortable at that level, then you wanna pick the speed up. So when you do that, you'll wanna be over top of concrete. Now I used to do this down the road of my house. And the reason is because I used to scrape the quad on the ground like that. This is the next phase of low level flight and throttle control. Find some really smooth concrete like a tennis court or a basketball court and get it as low as you can and let the quad just drag the ground. I used to do this over and over and over again, pack after pack after pack after pack. And ultimately I got to the point where I didn't touch the ground. I would get so low in flight that I wouldn't even scrape the ground. Now I do periodically, but for the most part, I can fly really low and not impact the ground like that. But that's what you want. You want to just skid the ground. This is the next step. And don't do that. So I'm trying to go really fast, well, a little bit faster here, but again, for beginner purposes, stay really slow and deliberate and just scrape the ground gently. Get as low as you can go and scrape the ground. Do another 10 or 20 packs, just scraping the ground, getting as low as you can go, as low as you can go, until, like I said, you're very comfortable down at that low level of flight. And again, you guys see, watch, I'm super low to the ground, thumb is off. Well, I'm gaining some altitude there. I left it off the wrong height, so. What you want to get comfortable with is as I'm flying really low, I can take my thumb off the stick. And you guys can see the quad maintains flight. I'm not giving any throttle inputs whatsoever. Let me turn around and show you guys that again. So as I'm skimming across the concrete, once my quad is set, I'm cruising, taking my thumb off the throttle. That's where you want to be. So comfortable that you know, okay, I'm good, I'm going to maintain, I'm just going to take my thumb off. And now all I got to do is roll, pitch, and a little bit of yaw to get it around. And that's what you're after. Now, next step as a beginner is popping up over obstacles and maintaining that, that same throttle control. So now that you're going really low to the ground, you're gonna introduce phase five, hopping over obstacles. This is where you really start to build that throttle familiarity. So over a fence, find a fence, stay really low, go slow, don't go fast, don't try and rush and be fast and just blast through it. So go under things, go around things, go over top of obstacles, underneath obstacles. And eventually what you're gonna start learning how to do is throttle blip. So your throttle control is gonna turn into throttle blip. And I'm almost out of gas here in my battery. So throttle blip is the next phase. And that gets you, and that's gonna be another discussion for another day. But um, right now, throttle management, control, just skim the ground and uh, be very gentle on the throttle. This is beginner phase throttle control. It doesn't take abrupt movements. Everything is a very finite, very small, very controlled, very deliberate maneuver to the point where you can cruise and coast and just take your finger off the throttle and you're just controlling the pitch at that point. So um, hopefully you guys like it. Try to make it short and sweet. Got any questions, hit me up and uh, be looking forward to the next run of videos. I should be doing two or three more on throttle management. Um, we'll do an advanced and then I'll also do throttle blip and then I'll also do one on why I use the controller that I use. All right, you guys, stay safe. Thanks for watching. 
And again, thank you for the subscribers that I got. Love you guys. Thousand of y'all out there. Appreciate it. Be safe. Peace.